we generate charge by friction again. Welcome to episode 8 of our information series, Basics of Electrostatics. With this information series, we want to share our know-how about electrostatics with you to make electrostatic applications even safer. Yes, Michael, if you remember, last time we did live flocking. We used the electrostatic forces for a surface finish. Of course, there are a few points to consider with electrostatics. A flashover can potentially develop an inflammable temperature. A flashover could ignite a flammable air gas mixture. So where could this happen during flocking? Actually, only if you use a lot of solvent glue that is highly inflammable. With painting, it looks different. With painting, we have inflammable solvents, paints, they can be inflammable. And of course, you have to be careful there. Okay. We want to show you how easy it is to ignite a perfect mixture. Okay, does that mean there's going to be a bang? Soon, yes. Okay. We're going to start from what we went through at the beginning. And that is if you remember, when I rub this plate on here, I created charge. So, so, now I brought a little pop tube here. In this pop tube, we have about a liter of air, and I inject some gasoline in there. The important thing here is that the amount really fits in order to have an ignitable mixture. If I have too much, then it will be fat, and won't ignite. If I have too little, then it will be too lean and won't ignite. We have about 11 microliters of gasoline that we inject here. Okay, stop. Why are you turning it over now? By turning it over, I make sure that this gasoline air mixture swirls once and the Brownian molecular motion ensures that there is a permanent optimum mixture in the complete tube. In the completen Röhre permanent optimalis gemisches. Now we take the high voltage cable to one electrode and the grounding cable to the other electrode. And in the middle you can see we have a small spherical spark gap. We now generate the charge through friction again. And look, so little is enough to ignite. If we clarify this again here, if I now rub here, Michael, you may now do it again. I think you felt it. One feels it. But it's not particularly painful. That means a normal electric shock, which one gets, for example, at the stair railing or at the car. Who doesn't know that small shock on a car? that can be enough to ignite the flammable mixture if it is present. And that's why it's important to know exactly what you're doing when you're working with flammable materials. You have to make sure that you don't reach an X zone. Cool. Cool. So that was a cool experiment. You heard the bang. Maybe you also saw the flame. Please do not try this at home, of course. That's it again for today. But do we have another experiment on the line? Yes, in the next video we will show how such an explosion spreads. Okay, so we'll show you that in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and come back to our channel. We will do more experiments about the basics of electrostatics.